Hello friends, welcome again on Pharma Learner series of interview questions and answers. In today's tutorial, I will discuss about top 5 frequently asked interview questions on stability studies from ICH and FDA guidance. In previous tutorial, I have discussed in detail about exhibit batch size requirements for a NDA and about significant changes. If you have not watched this tutorial please watch that also. I have also provided the link below in description. Now, let's start with the first question. So the first question is, is significant change applicable only for accelerated storage condition? Or, is it applicable for long-term study too? To answer this question, according to ICH guidelines, significant change is applicable on accelerated storage conditions. However, if significant changes occurs in long-term storage conditions, in this case, product is not considered stable and you cannot submit the application to the agency. Let's see what ICH guidance says. If long-term studies are conducted at 25 degrees Celsius plus or minus 2 degrees Celsius and 60% plus or minus 5% relative humidity and significant change occurs at any time during six months testing at the accelerated storage conditions. Additional testing at the intermediate storage condition should be conducted and evaluated against significant change criteria. The initial application should include a minimum of six months data from a 12 month study at the intermediate storage condition. This is about the applicability of significant changes. I have also made one full tutorial on significant changes. If you want to know about what is the significant changes as per ICH guidelines, please watch my tutorial. Link is available in description. Now the next question is, how many API lots are required to manufacture three batches of each strength of a proposed drug product? So, according to ICH guidelines, there should be two API lots to be used to manufacture three batches of each strength of a proposed drug product. If minimum two lots are not used to manufacture three batches of drug product, FDA will consider it a major deficiency and will refuse to receive the ANDA application. Before going ahead to next question, let me tell you that I am continuously preparing the such question and answer series for interview. If you have not subscribed this channel, please subscribe so that you don't miss all future videos and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will get the notification of all my new tutorials first. Friends, we are working hard to make these tutorial to help our pharma community, requesting you all to please share these tutorials to your friends and colleagues and help them also. Now move on to next question. The question is, tell me about various storage conditions for stability and time points. Let's discuss it one by one. For accelerated conditions, time points are 0, 3, 6, and 1 additional time point should be covered. And the storage conditions are 40 degrees Celsius plus or minus 2 degrees Celsius temperature and 75% plus or minus 5% relative humidity. For intermediate conditions, time points are 0, 6, 9, and 12 months, and storage conditions are 30 degrees Celsius plus or minus 2 degrees Celsius and 65% plus or minus 5% RH. And for long-term conditions, time points are 0, 3, 6, 9, 12, 18, 24, 36 months, and storage conditions are 25 degrees Celsius plus or minus 2 degrees Celsius and 60% plus or minus 5% RH. Now move on to next question. If one out of the three batches is stored under accelerated conditions, shows a significant change, what should be done? According to ICH guidance, if accelerated data show a significant change or failure of any attribute in one or more batches, an applicant should submit intermediate data for all three batches. In addition, the submission should contain a failure analysis that is, discussion concerning the observed failures. If significant change occurs between zero and six months, in that case, long-term data needs to be used for analysis, and six months intermediate data are required 
at the time of a NDA submission, and further 12 months data to be amended later on. Six months, intermediate data is required for evaluation at filing, which includes zero and six months time points. If intermediate data also fails, in this case, no extrapolation of shelf life or retest date is allowed. And long-term data alone will take over shelf life or retest determination. I hope it clarified you enough. Now move on to the last question of this tutorial. Which about the sample storage requirements? Question is, how long do the three pilot scale batches need to be stored before destruction which were submitted as a part of an ANDA? In general, ANDA submission batch samples should be stored for one year after approval of the ANDA and samples of the drug product used for bioequivalence studies must be stored for five years after approval of the ANDA. For more information you can refer the US FDA and ICH guidance on this topic. Thanks for watching this tutorial.